Hi everybody, I'm Serena Rubin and I'm talking about the Classical High School Francesco Vivone Reading Corners. First of all, let me thank Luisa Marquardt for the organization of the meeting and all the participants, especially Mrs. Daniela Benincasa, head of the school, and Mrs. Emanuela Sangallo for their contributions. I am an architect, I come from Puglia in the south of Italy, I moved to Rome and Germany in order to study architecture. I was in Bauhaus in Weimar and also in Hamburg. Nowadays I live and work in Rome, where I am an architect in Hodap Architecture Firm and I am an assistant professor in the third year design course in Architecture Faculty. The Reading Corner projects come out from the customer's need to have a new space for the school library. The current school library in Vivona High School is placed in the basement in a multifunctional place. This means that this space is both library and conference room. If we have this situation, we also need to know that whenever the space is used as a conference room, the students have no place in which they can do the library things. So they have no space to read and they have no space to study something. So the project needed to find new places in the school and to have a new part of the library. This new part of the library is made out from the reading corners, so a diffused library. And this going through the school and this in all the places that are not used in this moment. So the project goals are to research a new space in a defined perimeter, to have a new concept of the same space through the design furniture, because we could not move a wall, we could not build something, we could only act in a place that we already had. This means to work through the furniture, through the color and paintings. The punctual study of materials and colors I actually want to say that when you work on a library, you should work on the sound, on the light, on the color, and on every kind of small architectural issue that can make that space a library space. Finally, another project goal was to um, have the contribute of students in this job. The walls that have that define the um, reading corners are going to be painted by the school scholars and they're going to show a geometrical um, hat in which we also have an art painting. Eventually the main project is also that we have the reading corner as an architectural object. This means that you can have one reading corner, two reading corners, some reading corners in a system, but you can also have different systems coming out from different reading corners. This quality is necessary because we are going to make a sustainable intervent. We are going to work in a school, so we now realize three reading corners, but we may also do some other reading corners in the future and we can also integrate the reading corners to the library. Last but not least, the reading, the reading corner is something defining a typology, so it's something that can be recognizable in the school and can be a kind of sign in the floor plan of the school. I will introduce you to the reading corners project in the uh, steps I made for this project. So the current situation, the concept, the reading corners project, and before and after work comparison. First of all, let me introduce you to the actors of this film called Reading Corners. The first actor is the remnant space in the school. In this school, we have some spaces between the corridor, the lift landing, and access to the stairs that measures approximately six square meters and 11 square meters. This space is actually quite less than a room. Six square meter in Italy is less than a single room. These spaces are not big at all and they are not closed at all. So they also have some sound problem, but at least they have a quite good natural lighting and ventilation because they are very close to some uh, huge windows. So in order to create the space, as I had already three parts of it, so I had two wall and another wall with a window, I would create another kind of delimitation, which is the sound absorbing room separators. I used this design furniture, which I will call afterwards cactus because it has the shape of a cactus plant, 
To delimit the space, I will delimit the reading corner space with this object, which is also an object tall from 150 meters to 180 meters, and which can not only separate the space, but can also absorb the sound from the corridor to the reading corner. This means that I can have a kind of insulation process. In addition, at the ground floor, I will also use the separator to create a kind of privacy space for the library because at the ground floor the reading corner is, is straight in front of the entrance of the school. This means that I will also see the people reading and that can be actually something normal for me that I see but can be something quite disturbing for the people reading and concentrating. Then I will use also the sound absorbing, absorbing poofs which are um, a kind of chair which are actually of the same material of the sound absorbing room separators and which can absorb the rumor from the the noise from the uh, passing away of people in the corridor. Then I would have reading, reading tables and shelves which are actually minimalistic, black and transparent and I would have these wall paintings made by the students. So the current situation is this. We enter in the school at the ground level and we will have some um, space which is not only reading corner in this level but it's also info point, consultation area for the library and the musical area with the piano and the sofa. So this is the only reading corner talking actually with the rest of interaction places of the school. When I go to the first level and to the second level I will have the reading corner E1 for each level and which are actually bigger because these are the reading corners of 11 square meters but actually they're alone, they don't have other common place on this level. The concept of this reading corner is starting from three colors, red, orange and blue, and from three cactus. For each of these color and cactus I will match a uh, painting from the Italian culture. So we will have a place which is library, we will have a place which is also a volume of design and of paintings made by the student and we will also have an anniversary place, we can call it, for the Italian culture. We have Dante Alighieri for the Red Reading Corners because this year is the 750th anniversary of his birth. We will have the School of Athens from Raffaello Sanzio because it's the 500th year anniversary from his death. And we will have then Tiepolo with Apollo Indiana for the 250th anniversary from his, from his death. These paintings are quite important, not only because they remember something which is very important in Italian culture for these 2020 years, but also because they match perfectly to the color. And these three colors are not independent on their own. They're characterizing for one reading corner, but they can also be matched in the future for, for a future work and future reading corners. So this is the first geometrical hatch with Dante Alighieri. Uh, I will say that the geometrical hatch is something really interesting because it can make some 3D effects on the wall, but it's also something very easy to make the students uh, easily able to do it. And then we have the heart piece, which is that there. In this second one, we have the School of Athens, which is the only one divided into, play, into separate uh, parts. This because, first of all, the School of Athens is uh, a really huge fresco, so it will be quite, quite impossible to uh, remake it because we actually wouldn't have enough wall to paint it. But also, it's interesting to see on the left side Socrates and Platone, which are the best classical symbols in the history, and also on the right side the self-portrait of Raffaello. And this is Apollo and Diana in the third geometrical hatch. So, the reading corners project. Let's start from the first one, ground level. This is the smallest reading corner. It has only two places, two tables and two poofs. This means that um, only two people can stay, or even more actually, if they stay on foot. 
this is the reading corners. I will notice that tables are black as the basement of the cactus and this is actually not only a color choice but also a minimalistic choice to make the red, the painting, the cactus and all which is library emerge. And this table is quite small, you will say. It's small because it's a reading table so it's not huge enough to do other things and it's not small, too small to read. And this means that more people can use the reading corner because when I have a small table, I will read, I will understand and then I will go because I cannot do anything else. And the, the shelves are uh, in uh, transparent plexiglass because they actually show, which is actually very important in the library, books. Books are important and are characterizing and also they will show the books. And they will also fit on the, um, on the wall without interventing on the paintings. So this is how it will look, the reading corner, and we do the same things. For the first level reading corner, which is quite huge, is exactly the double, we have four stations. And the second level reading corner, the blue one, which is also for four people. These two reading corners are actually similar, they have the same area and the same number of positions. This means that you can actually also move things from one reading corner to the other because they're linked between the two floors. And this means that in this place, which is not, you, not a big space, but it's not also a small place, you can also have very small cultural events. So like a reading from a book, you can have a debate from something. You can work on this place. You can actually move things from one level to the other and can have a third ambient. So, before and after comparison. This is the school how it looked like before the reading corner intervention and this is after reading corner intervention for the ground level, first level, second level. So the final remarks are actually that if you have a research for a new speciality, you will have a new speciality. So in this case, we were not allowed to do anything else and we could find out something new and something interesting out of this library and this school. The sustainability of the intervention, which is not only economical sustainability, but also people sustainability. We have the intervention and we have also the project made with the mostly economical um, advantageous solutions, but we also have students working on this project and filling this project their projects. And then the reading corner, finally, we can see it as an architectural object and also as a typological element to be exported and to have in other places, in other architecture, other libraries. So here you have the hard references from uh, portraits I've shown you before, the essential references of website, and contacts. If you need me and want to ask me something, I'm available on this social and to my email address. Thank you for your attention and wish you a good seminar meeting.